Meanwhile, Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan says the COVID-19 related shutdown is greatly impacting the city's bottom line and that cuts will have to be made. The mayor has scheduled a 7 p.m. briefing tomorrow night to address what needs to happen to keep the city financially afloat. Our Mara McDonald live tonight in downtown. And Mara, for this fiscal year, we're talking about a hundred million dollar shortfall. That's right, Karen, and the possibility of a $200 million shortfall in the following fiscal year. This is a code red financial situation. The virus has knocked out two of the city's key money streams, casino gaming and the income tax. Unfortunately, we don't have the luxury of only dealing with one problem at a time. Uh, and we are going to have to, in the next week or two, address the city's financial situation. Uh, as I talked about before, we're looking at a deficit of more than $100 million just in this fiscal year that ends at the end of June. And that's just for this fiscal year. Depending on how long the closures last, it could double to a $200 million deficit in the next fiscal year. And so between the two, we've got to find a way uh, to address $300 million in lost revenue. The city's rainy day fund post bankruptcy is, according to Duggan, at about $100 million. No way it can make up for everything, which means cuts are coming, although I've been told not likely to police and fire. The mayor says he thinks they will be able to keep city services intact, but it's going to require sacrifice. What that sacrifice looks like, Duggan will outline tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Back here live, what I have been told is that the mayor is spending the next several hours with members of city council as well as union leadership to talk about where they're at, where they're going, and come up with some sort of cohesive plan for these proposed cuts. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Mara McDonald. Back to you. Okay, Mara.